graduation times in Sweden. Many people graduate high school and this is why I'm here in Stockholm because my nephew also graduate and as you saw those people, those students, yeah they were in the back of that car. They have fun, go around and sometimes they have even music in the trucks as well. Guys, this is my secret spot here in Stockholm. You get perfect view over Stockholm and uh, I will I make sure uh, to let you know the street in the comments so you can find this uh, spot. So I'm gonna show you some places that I know. On the far side over there you have a place called Gröna Lund and th that's basically a amusement park here in Stockholm. It's a bit pricey but although it's pricey I, I will think it's definitely worth visiting on the other side here it's the old town old part of uh, Stockholm we went to some places together there we went to the smallest narrowest street in Stockholm it was at, on that part we went to the Stortorget where 82 people got killed because of power struggles and so on so if you want to come here enter in your Google Maps New Tourist got done number two, Nytors Gotten number two. There's a perfect place where you can enjoy the view of Stockholm. place called meatballs for the people and uh, here you can order real good Swedish uh, meatballs of course I ordered one with the beef taste and uh, in Sweden you get uh, some mashed potatoes you get some cucumbers and uh, this is I, I think it's called lingon lingon berries and of course a uh, traditional brown sauce Let's try the Swedish meatballs, see how they are. Normally you should order with pork, but uh, today I was more wanting to taste the beef. Yeah, this was really nice and I like the mashed potatoes, lots of uh, buttery taste. They really work with the mashed potatoes, you cannot feel the potato crumbles in it. Yeah, I enjoy it. So now guys, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my meal and see you later. So guys, we had a lovely meal here at uh, Meatballs for the People. Overall, I like that place and uh, they are really good at uh, making good, nice meatballs. An uh, extra plus, plus is that you can choose what kind of meatballs you have. They, they had some different dishes. They had also one dish they called sharing is caring, where you could choose to taste uh, meatballs from beef, from pork, from fish, you name it. So they had a lot of different varieties which means if you are a bunch of people going there I'm sure you can find something that suits everybody and the atmosphere there was very nice so those was the plus sides the only thing I could complain maybe complain is a, a too big word for that but the service to be honest was uh, a bit slow they gave you a seat pretty fast but uh, then it took forever to get your drink and after that an eternity to get your meal. I didn't go there like 12 o'clock when, when everybody goes to lunch. I came there about 2 p.m. That is the only thing I can basically complain about. But when you got the attention from the people working there, they were very service minded, they were helping you uh, and they were always smiling and so on. But 
something made it hard for them to serve you in time if you are really really hungry you should maybe consider going somewhere else and if you're not that hungry then it's a, a great place to go uh, great people and uh, for my spanish-speaking friends uh, most of the people working there were spanish-speaking so they spoke english fluently swedish and i think most of them were not from spain but from south america somewhere yeah and this place got really good reviews which is nice and i would say yeah the food the quality of the food is really good the varieties of different meatballs you can choose from is very nice even though i was boring ordering only beef so really nice place about to check in in my hotel as you see it's quality hotel quality hotel friends uh, nearby the big stadium here in Stockholm called friends arena let's see how the room looks like if it's good or not Welcome to my room. All right, I'm gonna show you around in the room. The first impression, it's very nice, it's clean. To begin with, I will show you the bathroom. As you see here, it's uh, tiny, but it's clean, it's nice, it's fresh. We got towels, uh, we got a big uh, mirror, ironing board if you need that, and I will need it for tomorrow since I'm gonna have a nice shirt for the party and here's the room a TV of course a flat screen no desk unfortunately to work with as you see here there is no window when I booked the this room they advertised that the room uh, has window basically I paid for something I didn't get I told the the guys in the check-in desk and she told me no no you have it's a mirror it's not a window so I'm very disappointed I don't care I will not spend much time here in in the room but she wanted me to pay uh, about 30 euros extra to get a window so this is a trick they do here in this hotel they Make you believe you book a room with a window and when you get to the check-in desk they tell you you have no window, you want a window and you have to pay 30 euros euro extra. This is the first and the last time I will stay here and the reason I chose this hotel to be honest is because I know a lot of my friends and relatives book this hotel since it's close to the party we're having tomorrow. If you come to Stockholm and you are in the Solna region, avoid this hotel because these guys, wow, they, they want to rip you off. They want to rip you off for sure. Travel con Leo, you get the best sangria. <laughs> <laughs> 